everyone welcome to lectures by aparna in today's video we will discuss about hilbert matrix let h n be an n by n hilbert matrix each element of this matrix h n will be h i j so this h i j can be written as h i j is equal to 1 divided by i plus j minus 1 so if n is equal to 4 If we are writing a four by four Hilbert matrix, it will be like H four is equal to H one one, H one two, H one three, H one four. Like that, we have written all the elements here. Now we have to substitute this equation and find the value of each element. So first we have to substitute I equal to one, J equal to one to find H one one. That is this element. So H one one will be equal to one by I plus J minus one. I is one here plus J is one here minus one. So this will be equal to one divided by two minus one. That is equal to one by one. That will be one. So this element is equal to one. So substitute one here. Now next you have to substitute I equal to one. J equal to two. So Substituting i equal to one, j equal to two, h one two. Element h one two will be equal to one plus two minus one, which will be equal to three minus one. That will be equal to one by two. So one by two substitute one by two in h one two. One by two. Likewise, you have to find all the elements. It will be like this. Once you get all the elements, you can write the matrix as. H one three is one by three, so one by three. H one four is one by four, so one by four. So this is how we write a four by four Hilbert matrix. A Hilbert matrix will be a symmetric matrix as well as a Hankel matrix. Symmetric matrix means that if H four is the matrix, then H four will be equal to H four. transpose if this condition is satisfied then it will be a symmetric matrix h4 transpose means we have to interchange the rows and columns of the matrix if you interchange the rows and columns of this matrix you should get the same matrix so let us see if it is symmetric h4 transpose is equal to you have to make this column the row of this matrix so 1 One by two, one by three, one by four. This column you have to make the next row. So one by two, one by three, one by four, one by five. This column you have to make it the next row. So it will be one by three, one by four, one by five, one by six. And this column will be the next row. So one by four, one by five, one by six, and one by seven. See, this matrix is the same as this matrix. Therefore. H four is equal to H four transpose. Therefore, a Hilbert matrix will be always be a symmetric matrix. Now, Hilbert matrix is also a Hankel matrix. Hankel matrix means that the skew diagonal elements will be the same. So here, one by two and one by two is same. Now, if you consider this skew diagonal one by three, all these elements are the same. If you consider the next Q diagonal, one by four is the same. If you consider this Q diagonal, one by five is the same. Likewise, here one by six is the same. So a Hilbert matrix will be a symmetric matrix as well as a Hankel matrix. So these are some concepts about Hilbert matrix. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.